Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So in today's video, we are going to be planting strawberries. So I do have videos on how I go about planting strawberries, but I'm so, so excited about planting up this variety. Now I did have to purchase, you guys, two varieties because the main variety that I wanted came with a two pack. <laughs> So, but I hope you guys watched my other video. I did show you guys me picking these up at Walmart. Um, this right here is a multi-pack um, that I end up purchasing with the ever-bearing uh, strawberries, which I already have you guys out inside of my greenhouse, or you can call it a cold frame, but I call it a greenhouse. Um, and this is what I already have planted, and I showed you guys those as well in another video. But in today's video, we're going to be planting up this packet right here. And as well, let's talk about some of the information on how to plant them. Now, with strawberries, they're very easy to plant, but it's very easy to mess up. Um, so really, really pay attention to how you're setting your strawberries. So this right here is your, called an edible garden right here. It says, plant in spring after the ground has warmed up. What we're gonna be doing in today's video is we're gonna be planting up a hanging basket. Now, you do not have to plant yours in a hanging basket. I'm hanging mine in a hanging basket because I wanna utilize as much space in my garden as possible. So I'm gonna be using some upper space in the garden. So I decided to plant them into hanging baskets. So right here is the two varieties. And like I was telling you guys, it's the Everbearing and this is the White Carolina. So the White Carolina, I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same as the pineapple strawberry. So the pineapple strawberry is white as well. And that's the one I was looking for, but this variety here is called the White Carolina. Maybe because I'm picking it up in the Carolinas. Um, but, uh, that's what we're going to be enjoying. So it comes with 20 of the white and 10 of the red. Okay. The next thing up is to making sure that you do properly get them ready. So the first thing up is to wash off the soil according to the packaging. So what I went ahead and rinsed off all of my um, bare roots. Okay. I went ahead and rinsed all the soil off of my bare roots. And I went ahead and soaked them for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, to making sure that they get some good moisture going on before I put them in the soil because they have been just sitting in a bag, okay? Now they do recommend that you take them and loose very gently and as well remove the rubber band. So remove the rubber band first, then uh, gently take them apart and rinse the soil off of your plant and then I, me, you don't have to because according to them, they didn't say that. According to them, it's how the instruction says before planting, remove the rubber band and rinse roots. Gently separate roots before planting. To plant, find a full, full sun location that receives six plus hours of direct sun per day. That means between six to eight hours, your plant needs at least six to eight hours, okay? Dig a hole one to two uh, inches deep, spaced strawberry roots 12 to 24 inches apart. Let's just get started planting. Right here I have my hanging basket. My hanging basket has pre-moistened soil and pre-sifted soil. So the first thing up is to do is to grab our bare roots. Right here you guys is the crown. Okay, you'll see like a little cup up under it. Okay, and you'll see here that right there is your crown all right so we're gonna dig our hole gonna spread those roots out all right and then we're gonna place it into our container making sure that crown is still above the soil okay slightly Pat around the crown, making sure you do not cover your crown. And we're just gonna keep doing that. Now I do see that some of my uh, strawberry plants that I did purchase have a little bit of life. You see here, um, 
that is always good and I see some uh, white roots that other piece that I just planted didn't have too much of anything but I'm hoping that they all will still pan out so we're gonna do the same exact thing we're gonna dig our hole all right make sure that crown is not buried you know that's the first thing I think that kills most uh, planters uh, strawberries is that they might be planting them just a tad bit too deep where that crown rots out um, because if you think about a runner a runner it just runs over top of the soil so that crown is always above ground okay so you never want to um, plant your strawberries too deep okay just to give you guys a little bit of example of why you don't plant them uh, too deep is because they are a runner so they don't ever be planted they actually are sitting on the soil and they plant their roots into the ground all right so let's dig this next hole got a little life here gonna pop that in just like that now they do recommend that you plant them 12 to 24 inches apart that's why I said you don't have to plant yours as thickly as I have. Um, I decided to do this um, because I can always separate mine out. And I don't have all of the containers that I would want to plant them in right now. So I can always come in and pot them again. So, But I'm doing three so I can have a nice full pot and uh, they'll do just fine. So I have them into this three I have three of them into this uh, pot here. All right, so that hanging basket is done. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. And that was the white strawberry. That was the Carolina white. Um, I'm going to plant the, um, the red out into the greenhouse. So I'm just gonna leave these here but I'm just gonna finish up planting up the white Carolinas. We have planted up our strawberries, okay? Uh, we're going to put them somewhere, at least if you can. I'm gonna be putting mine inside of my grow tent um, because I do, it's warmer in here and I just wanna head start uh, on them to grow to their best potential. Like this one right here, that wasn't like anything going on, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie, that one, it doesn't look like anything. This one has a little bit, maybe two pieces of the uh, white root. So, but that crown don't look great. That crown does not look great. But we're going to plant it anyways, right, y'all? We're going to plant them up anyways. So, going to make sure I don't bury that little one uh, too deep. Let's see what else I have. All right. All right, we got one more. Crown is teeny tiny, teeny tiny. I don't even know if it's gonna. Uh, that doesn't even look good. No, I'm not even gonna plant that one. That one, that one doesn't look good. So, matter of fact, since they none of these three look that great, I'm gonna put all three of them together as my third strawberry into this container. And if they come up, okay, if they come up, and they might not, but if they come up, uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so we have our strawberries planted. The next thing up is to water them. Now I do have in here some, uh, I do have in here a water soluble, so we're gonna just water them in to get that soil off top of that crown. Y'all, I love strawberries. I do. At one time in the main garden, I had a strawberry patch and um, I had to take them all out because I had a rabbit, a couple of rabbits, um, had babies in there and they were just loving life under my strawberry patch and uh, I went ahead and took them all out and I just never replanted them don't know why I didn't I just never got around to doing it but I did have a strawberry patch at one time 
All right. So those are planted up. I'm going to rinse my hands. All right, so that was a quick plant, okay? That was quick. Now I'm going to show you how they're looking. So I wanted to show you how I planted up some of them on camera, and I'm going to show you how they're doing so far inside of the grow tent. Okay, so here's the strawberries inside of the grow tent. This is some one that I planted up yesterday, and you can see. They all, these are the two that we just planted on camera. And here is the other uh, three that I planted yesterday. Okay, so they all are planted up into containers. And I'll give you guys a follow up on how uh, the strawberries are doing inside of my grow tent. Okay. And then once it starts to warm up just a little bit, I'm going to place them out into the greenhouse okay you guys we're at the end of this video we have planted up our strawberries i'm super um, excited to see these grow the white carolinas that is so pretty darn cool right you guys so i'm really excited to see these babies grow in the garden i will keep you guys updated but i hope you guys did enjoy the video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video and remember there's beauty in everyone's garden, and bye-bye for now.